Today's topic is gonna be your thoughts and feelings don't manifest and we're gonna discuss what does manifest for us, okay? If you realize thoughts and feelings are just 3D, 3D it's an expression of you, expressions of you cannot further create, even though you may have this impression. What's actually creating is what's behind the thoughts and feelings and that's the state so i have a lot to say let's dive in it's funny how <laughs> yesterday's video about affirmations got a lot got a lot of interaction but i intended it too and um, i was i put that title and thumbnail yeah on purpose i assumed it's gonna be controversial and people will try to prove me wrong in the comment section. <laughs> Thank you, babes, but you missed the point. I think you did not make it past the thumbnail and the title, so you can actually listen to what I had to say. But we forgive you here, yeah? We forgive you. We understand. Affirmations became part of you, and you think you need them, and you think affirmations manifest, but they don't. It's you. It's your state of being. Let's talk about this. So the best explanation for states of being that I saw in my life was Tom Karen. He broke this down super nicely. He talked about the different level of consciousness. Like the first one, it's just existence itself. There's no differentiation there. The father of the Bible. Under that, there's the son, a.k.a. I am. It's the existence becoming aware of its own existence. Then under this, there's the, the state of being. Because the state of being is nothing but I am plus whatever assumption you hold about anything, right? Under the state of being, there comes thoughts and feelings. Because think about this. Think about this for a moment. If you assume strongly that your person lost feelings for you, for example, of course you're going to have thoughts that go along with this assumption, with this state of being. So trying to flip thoughts, trying to change the thoughts through affirmations, through whatever, is the hardest way to go about it. Because when you change your state of being, your mind about what's happening, your thoughts automatically change as well. Can you go the route of affirmations? Of course, my love, you can do whatever you want. I just presented a far better and easier way on how to go about things, okay? And that is, I change my state of being, whatever I assume, to be true. And in turn, I don't have to fight my mind. I don't have to convince my mind. Things will fall into place. If I really change my mind and I believe something else to be happening, you just try it for yourself and you're going to see it. Yeah, I get it. Thoughts, uh, affirmations are thoughts. So what? <laughs> your dominant thoughts manifest. Listen, if your thoughts really had this capacity to, to manifest, what, what would you have right now in your living room, girl? I don't know about you, but my thoughts are not always positive and they're also very random at times and I don't... Uh, spend time trying to flip them so for example if I think about a giraffe I thought about giraffes for the last two days I saw a documentary and I thought about them where's the giraffe <laughs> I don't see it or I don't know Jason Momoa I like Jason Momoa so much yeah he's not in my living room girl because your thoughts don't create anything your thoughts are 3d now let's get into this piece of the video so you understand my love Everything that can be observed is not you, it's an expression of you. It's not source, it's an expression of source. Source cannot be observed. Source is this formless awareness. That's all. You cannot observe source, but you can observe its expressions because they take form in 3D. And because source is the only cause, like consciousness is the only cause, my love, there's only one cause and there's effect. So your thoughts and feelings are effects, are expressions. An effect cannot create further on. 
Do you get this? Cause is the only responsible for creation, and cause is source, is you, is consciousness. So if there's only one cause and consciousness is one, the one, I mean, then whatever else cannot be the cause as well. Do you get it? Nothing. It, it's just 3D, and 3D cannot further create. I know we have this feeling of a linear um, existence, yeah? That we think one event produces another one uh, that's similar, and another one, and another one. But what actually happens there is you dwelling in the same place in consciousness. Therefore, you keep on creating things that are in synchrony with it. Do you get my drill here? So if I think my SP lost feelings for me, and if I dwell in this uh, assumption, in this state of being, Chances are that I'm going to manifest, for example, let's say at first my SP seems to have changed his behavior towards me. It seems to be colder. Then our communication is less and less. Then he comes and say, says to me, I don't want to be in a relationship anymore. And then if I keep on dwelling on this, I'm going to manifest exactly this, okay? He stops feel having feelings for me. Maybe he even starts dating somebody else. Anything along this line, okay? But it's not the event that creates anything. If you had a fight with somebody, it's not because of the fight. It's because what you assume about the fight. What you assume about them, how they took everything that you said to them. It's you. Always you. And when I say you, you are the cause. And you eternally go between all this... Um, states. You move states all the time. All the freaking time. Even multiple times a day. Okay? You switch states because you don't have a form. You just get into some form. You get under a skin. Yeah? Like video games. That's all you do. You change your mind about what's happening. Of course your thoughts and feelings will follow because thoughts and feelings are a byproduct of your state of being. Of course you if I, again, of course, if I think my SP lost feelings for me, I'm going to think thoughts that align with that. And in turn, I'm going to feel my thoughts as emotions. When Neville Goddard talked about feeling is a secret, he doesn't mean feelings like feelings, okay? He, what he actually means is the when you transport yourself in a new state of being, that has a particular feeling on its own, and I think he explained it, if I'm not wrong, like think of how Christmas feels, yeah, or your birthday, this kind of feeling, not the feeling of, you know what I mean, leave it in the comments, because I'm having a hard time finding my words for this one, so again, everything that's not the observer, it's an expression of the observer, and expressions cannot further on create. I don't care what they told you, that affirmations are thoughts only. I'm talking about the technique. When you try to, when you're doing something to get something, that's a technique and I don't care what you're doing. You could be doing nothing to get something. Even that becomes a technique, okay? People learn they have to do nothing, let's say, and then they even make doing nothing into a technique to get something. I did that. That's why I know, because at some point I thought manifestation implies that I don't have to take any action. And uh, if I just don't take any action, I am manifesting. Or I don't even know what was in my head. But do you understand me when I say this to you? <laughs> Techniques don't manifest, it's you. Techniques are just that, tools to get you from point A to point B in consciousness. What actually manifests is... What you are, are aware of being? What are you assuming? <laughs> okay. What else what I wanted to talk about more in this video? Okay, let's touch a little bit also on inspired action. On what's inspired action? My love, again, let me take Tom's example of the seven levels of consciousness, okay? So again, on the top, there's the existence itself the substance, source, out of which everything that's made is made. Under this, it's source becoming aware of its own existence, therefore I am starts existing. Under this, there's the state of consciousness or state of being, 
that's composed by I am plus whatever assumption. Under this, there are your thoughts and feelings. You can put them in the same category, by the way. And under thoughts and feelings, there's action. Hear me out. Depending on your state of being, that's the action you're also going to take. Because <laughs> you only take action based on what you think is true, right? What you, where you are in consciousness at that time. When you change your state of being, your actions also change. All action is inspired, okay? All action. By what's inspired? By the state of being. <laughs> so when I first learned about law of attraction was not even law of assumption, I uh, also read about people uh, pretending, how, how do I say this? People were like um, acting as if this is the word. So they would put another plate on their table pretending that SP sits there and eats with them. They would buy rings to think they're engaged. So they would start here with the action, trying to go up. I recommend you search for Tom Karen's video on this. I don't know exactly because he has a lot of videos, but he talks quite often or he talks about this in quite a few videos. So you can go this route, girl. You can, go you can try to go from the bottom up, but this is the longest and the most tedious way of doing things because changing your action, trying to change your thoughts and feelings, trying to change, to get to change your your state of being is it possible yeah because this is what these people that tell you that you have to affirm like a robot pretend to do with these affirmations they say the more you affirm yeah just by repetition you're going to change your mind yeah you can go that route but it's painful as you know what in my opinion for me it was painful and it got me nuts it got me nuts so now I know I don't have to do all this to change my state of being. I decide. I jump from one to another. I say, it was like, okay, I'm not viral. I'm going viral. I, I'm making 10,000. Now I want to make 30,000 a month. It's a change of mind. And then everything else follows. Once I change my mind about who I am and what's happening, my thoughts will follow. My mind will stop firing me back and giving me a hard time. My feelings would align also to this, and in turn, also my actions. My actions are going to be inspired. Maybe all of a sudden I get an, a new idea about new videos or new stuff or a new course or whatever. I do the course, I take the action, and it turns out to be the best thing that I ever did, the, my biggest earner or something like that. And it happened to me back in the days when I was a tarot reader. My best friend came here uh, on holiday for a week with her husband. And before that, I just wanted to make more money because obviously <laughs> I wanted to have a nice time with them and not worry. Yeah. So I, I remember the Gumroad app because that's where I would sell my, my stuff on Gumroad. I would sell extended parts of videos and stuff like that. So I imagine looking at my phone and visualizing another amount of money, like a double amount, yeah? And after two days, my mind comes with an idea. And my mind said to me, let's make this new series of videos. So I did just that. And it, they turned out to be my most um, popular ones, my biggest earners. See, the action is always sponsored by your state of being. If you are in... Let's put an SP example here. If you think your SP lost feelings for you, he's dating someone else, you stuck in his social media, this action comes from your state of being. So you can abstain all you want, for example, to stop stalking them. If you don't change your state of being, nothing will change, my love. You can counteract your negative thoughts all day long with affirmations and get yourself mad and insane. Or you can get, go the easy route. You can do whatever you want, your God, for God's sake. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, but just have in mind, 
what manifests is source not expressions of source if you can observe it my love is not you it's an expression of you i want you to go by this rule with people with thoughts with feelings with everything if it, if it can be observed then it's not you the real you i mean not your little avatar but source consciousness i go by this rule even when people uh, do something that i don't like yeah i remind myself who's source here i am is the source yeah is he i am no he's an expression of i am somehow i manifested this somehow maybe i, I don't realize even maybe it was some unconscious manifestation right then i relax i know okay this happened what do i want okay let me move there mentally <laughs> that's all <laughs> i don't try to change the past some people ask me also in the comment sections if how to change the past by changing your mind you ain't gonna be looking at your past the same way people that try this exercise are, are mind blown <laughs> because things that were so solid in your head like some events that happened a certain way the moment you look back through a new assumption you're gonna find and see things that were apparently not there all things already are all the time here okay but you cannot see them from a different state of being a state of mind if i think my sp i talked i talked about this my former sp i thought i don't know how i convinced myself of it i don't remember girl but i thought this person wants to use me so that's all i saw that's all i saw even looking back yeah to our interactions and relationship or whatever from this assumption that's all i could see i it, i had the impression that he always used me like was I blind? Was I stupid? What happened here? Did he try always to use me? He didn't. That's that's one reality, okay? That's one reality. The moment I changed my mind about him, I started noticing things that, to me, were not there at the time. They were, but I couldn't see them. The moment I looked at this person through the glasses of, he's been the most amazing man I've ever had, I started seeing it everywhere. You cannot stop from seeing it so this is jumping to another reality okay and this is changing your past you don't have to i also saw that somebody asking how to erase an, a third party girl you cannot listen the only one thing that you cannot do is to erase something out of existence that's the only thing you can't where do you put this where do you put this because if infinity is infinity it takes all the space so erasing where do you take and put that you can't but what you can do instead is not select what you don't want to experience it's so easy yeah you have to become a bit more disciplined with your mind like and when i say this i don't say flip thoughts i say become more conscious about what you entertain but not with fear because thoughts manifest because clearly if up until this point in the video you did not get it okay i'm sorry for you but it's not about flipping thoughts it's not about uh, hammering in new thoughts just just be become conscious girl and just choose not to entertain certain thoughts it's a lot easier than it sounds but you you you're just not used to it your mind leads you yeah at least this was my case and this is how we go through life before we wake up our mind leads us and it's like a drunken monkey everywhere it's all everywhere all places erratic yeah and then you learn how to become present and then choose where your mind goes now you lead her okay so again let's recap Thoughts and feelings don't manifest. Thoughts and feelings, like anything 3D, it's a byproduct of you. More precisely, of your state of being. What you assume to be true and to be happening. Can you go this route of trying to flip thoughts and change thoughts and hammer in affirmations? Of course. It's not my way, not my preferred way. It gets me nuts. And a lot of people also have this problem. So, I, I'm just sharing with you my own way of doing stuff in hopes that it will help you as well if you're somebody that gets anxious because of affirming i found another way that's a lot 
easier and a lot less taxating on you okay and this way is i just decide i'm somebody else because i'm all things if i hold the concept it is mine i am it so might just switch right if i want something different if i'm in my sp doesn't love me i go in my sp loves me do i need convincing no my love because i know if i'm all things i must be also this and i know me choosing who i am translates later in 3d in events circumstances and so on 3d is a byproduct of me it's not the goal it's not the prize we, we are so focused on the 3d and we become its slave really i i don't give myself stuff or i try to micromanage what happens in 3d and i completely forget who i am and uh, really I forget that it's about the experience and you can have the experience of what you want inside already in the absence of it in 3d we forget about this and then we become fearful of 3d 3d becomes this uh, enemy <laughs> 3d is your playground my love do whatever you want but always have you in your thoughts first like how do i want to feel do i want to feel sad today do i want to no then let let me not be sad <laughs> but for myself years ago if you'd tell me that i have to suffer six months but then i would have my my sp i would take gladly the freaking suffering i had so little consideration for myself let me tell you or my inner state at least yeah i would say okay i'm, I'm gonna go through suffering if at uh, the end of it i get what i want and I completely dismiss the fact that reality happens first inside. That suffering is my reality. It doesn't matter what it's out there. It's not so important. I know that's what you want. I also still want stuff. I want to live in a very nice place and have my huge villa with my cook and my driver and stuff like that. Okay, girl? I also want that. But what became really important to me is my inner state. I want to be peaceful and happy as much as I can. It's not every day, but it's most of the times. If I want to be on that villa, sipping my in that villa, sipping my margarita at the swimming pool, I just give that to myself, not to make something happen on the outside, because I know it will happen. It has no choice. So I don't do this to make anything happen on the outside, but to fulfill my craving. Because that's why you have a craving, a desire in the first place. So I do that internally for my own self, to fulfill myself. And in turn, because 3D is a byproduct, it will manifest into a physical event, a fact. Subjective mind has the power to alter objective matter. Quantum physics, baby. Okay, but when I say subjective mind, it's not your thoughts. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm done here. Let me find another controversial uh, <laughs> title for this one. Because I'm sassy like this. And um, yeah, thank you for being here. If you only read the title, I'm so sorry for you. This is packed with gems. But okay. And nada. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>